it's Patty from the studio. I was out and about doing errands, minding my own business, when I drove by a small thrift shop in my neighborhood and saw a big sign, unadvertised specials, 75% off. So I carefully screeched my car into a U-turn and went into the thrift store. I couldn't help myself but the prices just couldn't be beat and I got some fun things and I think some profitable things. We will see. So let's see the haul and let me know what you think. Comment, like, subscribe, all those fun things. So here we go. Let's so haul. here are the goodies from my last minute unexpected made a U-turn in traffic thrift haul. Let's see what I got. This art piece is I think it's probably a student piece. It's on fabric. There's a little like water damage. It's not professionally done, but I liked the scene. It's a little gloomy. Looks like it was a study and, you know, using gray tones, but I like, it's almost like the Wizard of Oz, the beginning of the movie. And I thought it was fairly well done, interesting. And I picked it up. It's signed, but again, I'm thinking it's kind of an art student piece, but you never know. I've done well with art in the past, and I just thought it was very different. So that's why she came home with me. They had tons of clothes. They had a lot of summer clothes, which at this point in time, I'm just not interested in. I have enough stuff, but I did see this one top by Chico's, and it's a long sleeve herringbone. I really liked the asymmetrical neck and it's kind of a long tunic with a little vent on the bottom really good condition um, I thought you know even if people are not necessarily going into the office it's a nice zoom top so I think I might have a whole new niche for that you know a great top with your jammy bottoms that's how I'm going to position it then this item is Christmas holiday related and it's a cookie mold or a shortbread might be a shortbread mold and it's marked on the back seconds so it might have come from their factory store I don't know but one dollar before discount so I thought yes why not then I love my little figurines this is a fat chicken I guess it is. I liked the color. It looked very fallish to me. It looks vintage, no marks. There's no chips or cracks. And I just thought it's a sweet little piece. And again, a dollar, marked a dollar. Then on the animal, continuing this hand carved wooden, I think a gazelle. Let's see if it's focusing. It's marked on the bottom. It's kind of uh, a little hard to read, but Besmo hand carved, genuine something. So I'll do some research. I'm sure I'll find out about it. Um, but I, I thought it was a nice little piece. And this silver plated bud vase with a swan has like a little bit of an iridescent feel to it. It looks like it's in good condition. I um, haven't looked up anything on it to see if I can find. It's got a felt bottom, so I don't know if it's marked. And the felt is pretty well intact, so I'm not sure if I want to start trying to peel it off, but I might if I can't find any details. But I thought that was very kind of mid-century modern vibe, if not even older. And I thought it was pretty. More animals. Set of plates. And they're taped together, but it's four different scenes, equestrian scenes, different horses. And on the back, it says they're a uh, reproduction of original drawings by Robert H. Christie for... Schenker reproductions here next town over in Manhasset. So it gives me a starting base to find out more information. 
they're nice size. I like that they're all themed because, uh, you know, people love certain decor or they collect certain items. And I thought this could be something. And once I research it, I'll find out more. This big picture is a hobbyist piece. I would guess, or it's not vintage. You can tell by the bottom. But I thought really liked the colors different I liked the glazing it's kind of mottled and then a drip glaze there is a little chip out of the spout which is a bummer but I'll note it so I don't see making a huge profit on it but I think it's really kind of cool and well done then in the little tableware we have this gorgeous demitasse or espresso set and in the um, moriage style which is dimensional painting it's marked Betson's hand painted so it feels like Japan but I have to look at it a little bit more and it's got some age around the top but I thought it was just very pretty and you don't always see colors like this you see usually a lot of reds and gold but um, and actually this could be considered dragonware I thought the shape was abstract but now I'm not so sure or it's fish I'll have to look into that then another cup and saucer now I don't know it's not very heavy but that's considered I believe the thumbprint design in a really pretty blue light blue you see more like cobalt blue so this could be nothing or it could be something I hope that clears it up for everyone but I thought for 50 cents pre-discount and there was no minimum sale price to get the discount I thought it was worth checking into and investigating then another Christmas I usually not real successful with decorative plates but this one pretty Christmas scene original box literature about the company and the artist and marked on the back um, Christmas 1990 from Mary Ellen and Bobby and we apologize that whoever you gave this to for whatever reason it ended up in a thrift store you see that a lot and a lot of people have problems with that you know like personal gifts I mean I've seen like wedding photographs in thrift stores and I think you just don't know the history of things but I feel I've saved it from a landfill and maybe somebody else will appreciate it so it's numbered artifacts 1988 but they say 1999 made in the USA Bob Sauber and again it's got kind of all the bits and pieces to it and it's a nice little Santa and nativity scene I just saw it was pretty and it's not very big it's maybe five inches across then my final piece I think is my favorite it is from the 1950s I've already kind of looked this up a little bit original box which just sometimes the graphics alone are cool but it's a pop-up toaster salt and pepper shaker set people love salt and pepper shaker sets and the bread obviously that's a salt that's the pepper those are plastic the toaster itself is kind of stainless steel and the pop-up mechanism still works so you can grab your salt and pepper and I just thought it was just really cute an original box a little damaged but the piece itself doesn't appear to be damaged so that was it from my unexpected thrifting and my total bill was $18 not bad I think 
the things that will sell the fastest, I think, are going to be this. This, if it's worth something, you know, if it's a name brand. I think this has a definite customer out there. The rest of it, we'll see. Like, that's really pretty. And I think the shirt will sell the artwork. I don't know. But I feel it was, excuse me, successful last minute you turn in the highway, like I said, kind of day. So thanks for watching. Please hit like, subscribe, comment, all that fun stuff. And I'll see you on the next haul. Bye for now.